This tutorial is going to be for a ribbed tea cosy with a drawstring top. You are going to need a teapot. This project is great for stash busting so you'll need lots of colours or colours of your choice. A crochet hook to go with your project. Mine's 8 ply so I'll be using a 4mm hook. The measurements of my teapot is it's approximately 8 inches from the handle to the spout and it is approximately 6 inches from the top of the lid to the table is about 6 inches. We are going to make a chain that is the distance from the top of our teapot down to the table. So mine is 6 inches. So you need to make a chain about 6 inches long. But we want to leave about 12 inches so that we can sew it together later. So make in your slip knot. And making your chain for your measurement. And don't forget to write this number down how many chains you need because you'll need to make another one to exactly the same. Working into the second chain from the hook, don't count the one that's on our hook, going into the second chain we're going to work a single crochet and in each chain across you're going to put one single crochet until we get to the end. I'm up to the end of my row, just got two more to go. So single crocheting into the last chain. We want to work another row of orange and from now on we work two rows of each colour. So chaining one and turning our work. Now it is going to look what well, might look a little bit curly but that will straighten out. And through this project we are going to be working in the back loops only. So normally we would go into the stitch and have two loops on our hook. But we are going to be working into the back loops only. So turning it so we have the two V's on the top. This is our front and that's our back. We want to go into the back loop and work a single crochet. into our next stitch into the back loop only working a single crochet back loop and doing this all the way across until we get to the end Now the last stitch is always tricky to see. See how we have a little bit sticking out? That's actually our last stitch. So just putting our hook into the stitch and working a single crochet. Now if you are changing colours every second row, don't finish off that last stitch. We want to cut our yarn and grabbing our new colour. Looping it over a finger, putting it onto the loop and pulling through two. Chaining one to secure. And I just like to pull down on both threads and turning our work. Now you can sew your ends in as you go, but I'm not going to because it's a little bit tricky to show you the stitches. And I'll do it after. So working into the back loops only. Doing a single crochet just like we did in our previous row.
and we want to work two rows of this teal colour and if you're doing the striped effect you just want to work two rows now what you want to do is we will need to make two of these panels identical in size I finished off my panel looking very colourful and you need to make it so that it sits on our handle and then just laying it across and goes up to our spout now this is going to stretch around so making sure that it will stretch because we need to stretch it around our spout like that now this fabric is pretty stretchy because we've worked in our back loops only it has quite a good stretch to it so making the other side identical so I've just finished my last stitch and leaving a approximately 12 inches for a tail you want to finish off and pull it to secure so we now have two separate pieces of our crochet and we want to join them together to make our cosy lining up your stitches as best you can we just want to join the first few stitches over and over okay and then we want to see how far we need to sew up I've sewed it up a little bit there so I'm thinking that's enough to the handle so finishing off that one making a knot so going through the loop and pulling tight just make another one to secure it and then sew it back down where you've joined it to hide your ends and trimming it off at the other end so we've joined it down the bottom of the green going to the other end of our green lining up the ends so they're together and attaching our yarn just with a knot or two lining it up and then laying the tail on the top there stitching over the top of it putting it back on for size and as you can see that's where I've stopped so I need to do a bit more so just stitching down till it's snug around there so I finished stitching it there it's nice and snug on our teapot handle same to secure our yarn We want to repeat this method for the spout.